630, the fallout after a sudden resignation at the White House. Sean Spicer steps down as press secretary after a disagreement with President Trump earlier in the day over a new hire. CBS reporter Weija Jang live at the White House with more on the shakeup in the communications team. Weija? Veronica, that newcomer to the press team addressed reporters here at the White House for the first time today, and he sang Sean Spicer's praises, but the feeling is not mutual. And you're right, that triggered Spicer stepping down. The White House briefing room was more chaotic than usual as reporters learned White House press secretary Sean Spicer had resigned. The new press secretary, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, read a statement from President Trump. I am grateful for Sean's work on behalf of my administration and the American people. I wish him continued success as he moves on to pursue new opportunities. Just look at his great television ratings. Spicer's resignation comes on the heels of President Trump choosing New York financier Anthony Scaramucci to be the new White House communications director. We are committed as true professionals to the team and the process of getting the administration's message out. Today was the first on-camera White House press briefing in more than three weeks. Spicer had been even less visible recently, not conducting an on-camera briefing himself in more than a month. Good evening. It was exactly six months ago when Spicer made headlines with his first appearance behind the podium, scolding the media for its coverage of the crowd size at the inauguration. This was the largest audience to ever witness an inauguration, period. His sparring with the White House press corps gave Melissa McCarthy all the material she needed to create a widely popular impression on Saturday Night Live. You better run. You, you don't have a chance. Spicer tweeted, it's been an honor and a privilege to serve President Donald Trump in this amazing country. He will assist Scaramucci with the transition of the White House Communications Office through August. Well, Spicer is jumping right back into the spotlight. He has a primetime interview on a cable news network talking about his resignation that airs later tonight. Veronica? And Ouija, we know that Scaramucci is a financier by trade. You just mentioned that. So what kind of experience does he have when it comes to dealing with the media? Scaramucci is a polished TV commentator, a Harvard grad who is clearly really comfortable on camera answering questions today alone for nearly 40 minutes. And apparently President Trump was impressed by the way he defended the White House on television before and the way he handled a story about him that ultimately led to the firing of three journalists and it had to be retracted. All right, Weija Jang live at the White House. Weija, we appreciate it. Thank you. Anthony Scaramucci's business experience could turn out to be an advantage. CBS News political director John Dickerson tells me it may make it easier for Scaramucci to have influence with the president, and that's not all. When he speaks in public for the president, the president, uh, because of his uh, career in the private sector, Scaramucci will have um, kind of a different voice that the president respects because, of, uh, because he's kind of done the same thing the president has, which is be a success in the business world.